Praise the name of the living God. Welcome once again to our live broadcast and also our in-house uh, Friday night prayer deliverance and breakthrough service. We are indeed grateful, thankful to God for his presence here in this house. We know of a surety that he alone can do it. We know that nothing is impossible with our God. Nothing is beyond our God. We know of a surety that he is God and he is God all by himself. You know, we had to make that clear because he, he doesn't need us in order for him to be God. He is God. Hallelujah. And so we give him praise. We give him thanks. We give him glory and we give him honor. Hallelujah. Somebody just magnify the name of the Lord with us. Somebody let us exalt yeah. the name of our God, the name of our King, the Hallelujah. name of our Savior. Hallelujah. Wherever you're viewing this broadcast from, we simply say thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah. Those of you coming from work who are in-house, we indeed surely appreciate you. Hallelujah. We know that God is not through with you yet. Amen. Hallelujah. We know the processes and the journey has only just begun. Hallelujah. So get ready, get ready, get ready for more. More of his grace, more of his strength. Get ready for more of his favor. Get ready for more honor. Just get ready for what God is about to do with you, for you, and through you. Amen. Hallelujah. So tonight we're going to pray. Tonight we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Wherever you are again, we want to say welcome. Welcome to another night, another Friday night of prayer, breakthrough, and deliverance. Somebody invite someone, share the broadcast. Let somebody know today that God is getting ready to vindicate. God is about getting ready to release some keys, keys into your hand. Knowledge is power. And the more you know, it is the more that you are able to come out of situations and circumstances. Shall we pray tonight? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus tonight, Lord, I give you thanks and I give you praise. I thank you, mighty God, for all those that are viewing online and for those that are in-house. Father God, even as you look at the hearts of your people, Lord, the trials, the tribulations, the challenges are different. But Lord, the commonality is that you are God and that you are able to meet everyone at the point of the need. I pray, God, that every ear shall open tonight to hear what you have to say by your spirit. Father, I pray, God, that there will be no spirit of confusion, distraction, but your people shall be focused tonight. Your people shall come before you with hearts, O oh God, and minds that are willing to learn, to know, and to grow. So I thank you, mighty God, for your hand of love, mercy, and compassion that is upon your people. I thank you, Father God, for hearing their cries, Lord. Even though the enemy has come to cause them to think, Lord, that the cries cannot enter into your hearing. But I thank you because your word says that your ears, they are not dull, neither your hand too short, that it cannot reach out. So mighty God tonight, I release your people, I release the service. Everything that we shall say and do in this place today, I release it into your hand. And I thank you, Lord, for the supernatural. I thank you for breakthrough. I thank you, Lord, for divine intervention tonight. I thank you, Father, for encounters. Mm. Your people shall encounter you in ways that they have never encountered you before. For tonight, truly, you are the Lord God Almighty. And you are listening. You are standing in line, Father. As the faith of your people shall be lifted up, I want to say thank you. I want to say bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. For truly, he is worthy to be praised. So people tonight, give him praise, give him glory, and give him honor. Understand today you are here, you are hearing our voice, but you have really come to hear God. So look beyond myself, look beyond the apostle today. And by the Spirit, I want you to catch what the Lord is going to say today. Because there are some yokes that will be broken. Because there is an anointing 
that shall be released tonight to break the yokes. I don't care what name those yokes have, but because you are yoked to them and your mobility, your advancement is interfered with, you cannot be the you that God has called you to be. I want to declare to you tonight that it will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to look into the book of Genesis and we all know the story of Isaac and we all know the story, hallelujah, of Jacob. We know the story of Esau. We have heard it time and time again. We know Jacob, his name meant deceiver, supplanter, you know, one that deceived. And so we know when the time came for a blessing to have been released, how his mother came alongside him and helped in the deceiving factor to dress him up like Esau and so the blessing would have gone to him. And so we know the story, you know, that when Esau went out to do for the father to prepare the meal that the father loved the most. And when he came back, my God, the blessing was already released. And if you understand the you know, what it meant to have a father release blessings upon you, you will know how Esau felt at that time to know that everything that was supposed to have been his was given to his brother. But I want you to know something today. When you or what was supposed to be yours has been taken or stolen or misplaced, I want to say to you tonight, don't give up. Because as long as there is the breath of life within you, there is a skill. There is something that you have that God will still use tonight as we are going to find out. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so again, Isaac, you know the father, he did all of the blessing. And I picked up the story. When the son came, you know, he said, let me just, I'm just going to be jumping scripture. But verse 42, his father Isaac asked him, who are you? He said, I am your son. He answered, your firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled violently and said, who was it then that hunted game and brought it to me? I ate it just before you came and I blessed him. And indeed, he will be blessed. <laughs> the father said, I bless him and he will be blessed. So in other words, the father is saying, that which I have said and that which I have pronounced over him, it cannot be reversed. It cannot be taken. If I say he is blessed, he is truly blessed. Glory be to God. When Esau heard his father's words, he burst out with a loud and bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me. Me too, my father. Hmm. But he said, your brother came, to this, um, came deceitfully and took your blessing. And so the blessing of the father, the blessing that had to come from the mouth of the father to have gone before him, to open doors for him, my God, was given to his brother. Glory be to God. And then you would think that was the end of Esau. But no, it was not. And I'm jumping down a bit. In verse 48, Esau said to his father, do you have only one blessing, my father? You see, because he understood the relevance, the depths, the important. And for some of you who think, and I'm going to just throw that in, that you don't need a blessing from your mother, you don't need a blessing from your father, you are surely mistaken. We do not put honor on things that are relevant and things that are important. And many parents deny children the blessing by speaking into their lives and telling them who they are, making pronouncements over them that can break and counter and destroy any other pronouncement that will be made over the lives of the children. The blessing of the father have the potential to go far. The blessing of the father, my God, it has the capacity to create a safe heaven around the children. Mm. And so when he heard that this blessing was already gone, he felt it. 
Because he understood the depths of it. You see, sometimes you do something for somebody and they say, God bless you, you will prosper. And you just smile. But listen, when somebody says that to you from the heart, there is a blessing. And sometimes, if there is a curse over your life in this particular situation, because a blessing was pronounced, it can reverse it. It can overturn it because the person said it from their heart. So the blessing of the Father was paramount if you understand Old Testament and even the now because it is really important for a father to tell his son who he is, tell his daughter who she is, that when they go out there and they begin to hear the things that people are saying concerning them, the words of the father, the words of the mother, especially the father, will stand the test of time. Glory be to God. And so Esau said to his father, do you have only one blessing, my father? Bless me too, my father. Then Esau wept aloud. Hmm. His father Isaac answered him, and we are getting into the text as to where I'm going. He said, your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness. <laughs> you better catch this. <laughs> Another translation might have it different, but this one says, your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness. You missed a blessing that was going to set a foundation for your life, that was going to have you covered for yourself and your generation. After you miss it and you're asking the Father to give you at least one blessing, hear his words. Your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness away from the dew of heaven above. Now that is depressing, isn't it? Just when you thought that he was going to say something grand, this is what he's saying to you. Your dwelling, it will be away. So the, 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 the earth, the richness, the fullness of the earth, it will be away from you. Away from the dew of heaven above. He says in verse 40, you will live by the sword and you will serve your brother. Adding insult to injury, right? The brother who took the blessing, he is now being told, you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, now there may be another translation for the word restless, but this translation says, but when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck he wanted just one blessing because everything was already given and the and the father was very clear in letting him know that the brother will remain blessed but the father is saying to him outside of you being away from the earth's richness outside of you being away from the dew of heaven above you will live by the sword so there was something that can come into his hand that shall be in his hand that he will be very skilled with i want to encourage somebody here today don't think that you have lost everything don't think because perhaps if mother died and somebody has grabbed the house or they grabbed the land this is it for you it may look bleak Yes, the house would have been a good roof over your, your head. But I want to say to you tonight, do not give up. Today is Friday. Prayer, breakthrough, and deliverance. There is a deliverance coming to you just where you are. Hallelujah. You will live by the sword and you will serve your brother. But, this is where we pause. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck my god before i elaborate on that i just want to get the other scripture out of the way that is genesis chapter 27 from verse 40 mm. and what does it say glory be to god hallelujah thank you jesus bear with me Okay, the one I just read, there was Genesis 27, 40. Isaiah chapter 10, sorry, and verse 27. Glory be to God. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27. 
And it reads, and it reads, it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall depart from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of fatness. <laughs> My God. Listen, God was saying that to his people, Israel. His people that was in captivity. You see, sometimes captivity and bondage comes to make you think that this is it. To make you think that your life has ended right here. But I thank God because there is a book of remembrance before him. And when a people know how to humble themselves before God, it really doesn't matter how long you were in that condition. But the word of the Lord is letting us know that today that there is a time, there is a day, there is a season, there is a moment in history that will come where you will not remain in the same situation. That which was afflicting you will not continue to afflict you. That which held you bound, one day you will come out of it. I want to encourage somebody today and I want to say to you, you are coming out. You will not remain in that place. The children of Israel, they were in bondage and many things happened to them. But I give glory to God because the scripture is saying, the Lord said, and it shall come to pass. So that is something that will happen. It shall come to pass. Futuristic, it shall come to pass. In that day that his burden shall depart from off thy shoulder. So whoever was putting that burden upon you, whatever the burden that you were carrying, I want to declare to somebody today that it shall come to pass. My God, somebody you better type that in there. It shall come to pass. It is not a forever burden. Are you bent over? Some of you, you can't lift your head because it's weighty. Anxiety, depression, everything you put your hand to, nothing appear, my God, to be working. But I want to say to somebody today, this thing has become a burden. It has become like a yoke. You cannot shift it. You see these, uh, some animals, the cows, you know, when they're working in the field, they yoke them down. You know, they put this thing over their neck and, you know, they put them together so there is no way they can. They can't even control the movement, some of them. So some of us find ourselves in situations where we are yoked down. But glory be to God. I want to declare that it shall come to pass in that day. One day a suddenly is coming that his burden shall depart from off thy shoulder. And his yoke. So there is a burden first of all on the shoulders of the people and there is a yoke my god that was also on the neck but god is saying that that burden it shall depart from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of fatness look at this by reason of fatness so that simply means my god that you will come to a place you will come to a place in God in an ascension position where that which was holding you captive, that which was, listen, that which had you on lockdown by reason of your fatness. They have a scripture that says the yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing. But there is a fatness that is coming to you mm, that will have the ability to break whatever it is that is holding you down some of you cannot lift your head but i want to declare to somebody today lift up your head O ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting doors for there is a king of glory that wants to come at the place of your affliction that wants to come at the place where you are burdened that wants to come at that very place where you feel that the hope has been gone where you feel listen that nothing is working whatever you put your some people might even tell you you cursed because they see nothing is working for you but i want to declare to somebody today there is a word from heaven you will not always come before the altar with that same situation. Mm. God is getting ready to take this thing off your shoulders. And break this thing off your neck. 
because he said i know my thoughts concerning you god desires that you have an expected end how many of you desire to have an expected end today my god it's coming to you the blessing left him his brother took it but the father said you will live by the sword. I want you to know today, do not count yourself short. You have a skill. There is something that God has deposited within you that can out of it, you can have your livelihood. Am I talking to somebody here today? Some of you, people are growing fat because you are cook. Your hand belongs to you. But God wants you to know that this same skill and ability that you use for people and sometimes, most times, get underpaid for, God can cause that same skill. You could use it and grow and grow large. I have seen people who have started off in trays. And when I look at them now, I have to enter into a building to see what they have. How many of you know that God can use what is in your hand today to catapult you to another level? How many of you know that God can use what you have to cause your name to be great? We are going to dissect that a bit. But, Apostle, you ready? It's okay. Sure. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Indeed, we just want to read two more. We just want to read another scripture. Because we're talking about, we're speaking about the anointing and the anointing destroying the yoke. And, you know, as we read through the scripture, as we go through it, in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 10 and chapter 10 and from verse, 30, from verse 26, it says, And the Lord of hosts will brandish a whip against them as when he struck Midian at the rock of Oreb. He will raise his staff over the sea as he did in Egypt. On that day, on that day, the burden will be lifted from your shoulders and the yoke from your neck. The yoke will be broken because your neck will be too large. <laughs> Again, it says, the yoke, the yoke will be broken because your neck, it shall be too large. And, and, and so... As we read through the scripture, I mean, prophetess, the prophetess gave a description as to what the yoke is all about. And then we read again through Genesis. Yeah. And as we read Genesis chapter 27, and she read from verse uh, 39. Yeah. But if you go to verse, verse 40, just read verse 40. You will live by the sword and you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke mm -hmm. from up your neck. Yeah, and, and so one, one, one scripture says, or one translation puts it this way. It says, when you grow fat, or when you increase in size, mm. or when you increase in stature, mm. when you have dominion, come on. The yoke that he had on you or mm. over you, yes. it shall be broken. Amen. Then we look in Genesis chapter 33, and we want to read it. We want to read it just quickly so you get a, be a better understanding. We want to read it from verse 8. Genesis 33 from verse 8. And then if you read in your spare time, you can read Numbers 19 verse 2. And Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 3. You can read that in your spare time. Let's, let's read number, um, Genesis 33 from, from verse, verse 8. eight. Yeah. Esau asked, what's the meaning of all these flocks and herds I meet? Mm. To find favor in your eyes, my Lord, he said. But Esau said, I already have plenty, my brother. <laughs> Keep what you have for yourself. <laughs> No, please, said Jacob. If I have found favor in your eyes, accept this gift from me. 
For to see your face is like seeing the face of God. Now that you have received me favorably, please accept the present that was brought to you. For God has been gracious to me, and I have all I need. And because Jacob insisted, Esau accepted it. Okay, <laughs> so you can stop me for a minute. So, so here in the scripture, mm. prior to chapter 33, verse 20, chapter 27 spoke about the blessing that was pronounced upon yes. Esau and also upon Jacob. Mm. And it spoke about Jacob being blessed and Jacob taking what belonged to Esau. Yes. And then the blessing that was pronounced over Jacob by his father, mm. it was one blessing. That's right. And he said, by your sword, you will live. Yep. And he said, in the day that you have dominion, mm. in the day that you increase, his yoke shall be broken off of you. Come on. And so now Esau, it says in the scripture, that from that day onward, Esau hated Jacob. And it says he sought to kill him. Mm -hmm. Because again, when you lack growth, Come on. you begin to operate in the natural. Yep. <laughs> just, let me just skip. <laughs> and, 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 and so you get mad, you get angry, you feel disappointed. Yes. But yet, the promise and the blessing that was upon Esau was that by his sword he Amen. will live. Amen. And Esau lived by his sword. Yes, he did. And he grew fat by his sword. Mm -hmm. He increased in stature. Yes, he did. By his sword, irrespective mm -hmm. of the one blessing that was pronounced over him. Yes. He increased. In size, he increased Amen. in stature yes. to the point that he had his own men. Come on. To the point that he developed his own clan. Right. He, he, he developed a people for himself. Mm. And, so, and, and so the scripture also taught us that when Jacob, when Jacob sent the women and the children before Esau, yes. Esau was a bit confused <laughs> because Esau no longer had an issue with Jacob. Amen. You see, when, when you grow fat, when you grow big, when you increase in stature, you no longer have an issue or develop an issue with people that troubled you before. Amen. Because you're no longer at the same place. You're no longer right. at the same stage. So as Esau increased, uh, and when Jacob met with him, mm. he asked Jacob, what meaneth thou this? Right. In yes. other words, what are you doing? Mm. You don't need to appease me. You Come don't on. need to buy me anymore. Yes. Because everything that I need, I have it. In, in other words, what, Jacob, what, what Esau was saying is, uh, is that I don't need what you're giving Come me. And, and, and so there must be a place when you have been yoked uh, to people and when you've been uh, oppressed by people, uh, yeah. there must be a place of your development. Amen. There must be a place where you come to uh, yes. that God is working with you in a manner that people never even imagine. Amen. Because here was Jacob uh, feeling that he had taken uh, everything that Esau had, uh, mm. but yet Esau grew in stature. Yes. And I can go again into scripture when Abraham began to train men in his own house. Yes. And when Abraham began to train men in his own house, it was then that Abraham was capable or was able to go out into war. When you begin to develop in God, when you begin to develop in the place that God have assigned you to, my God, people who once held you captive yes, can no on. longer hold you ransom. Amen. Because God transitions you from one place to another. Amen. Now, when we talk about the anointing, the anointing actually is God or the Holy Spirit resting upon an individual or an individual being smeared. Amen. When we talk about the anointing destroying the yoke, we are talking about the power of God destroying what was oppressing you. Amen. We are talking about the grace of God disrupting the plans yes. and the devices of the enemy over your life Amen. and so it did not say that prayer will destroy the yoke but it says the anointing destroy the yoke my god it did not say that your neighbor will destroy the yoke it never said that your money will destroy the yoke but it says the anointing Amen. and when the anointing rests upon you what held you in bondage can no longer hold you again Amen. because the anointing of god it destroys 
destroys yokes. Yes. Somebody lift your hand and declare that the anointing destroys yokes. The anointing destroys Come yokes. on, you can do better Hallelujah. now. Come on, just declare that the anointing destroys yokes. The you see, if you want your yokes. yoke, hey. if you want your yoke to be destroyed, it takes the anointing. Amen. Or let me just put it this way: it takes the person of Jesus to destroy the anointing. Let me uh, uh, the yoke. Yes. Let me put it this way again: it takes the person of Christ to destroy the yoke that's upon you. If you have a yoke of oppression, it takes the anointing of Christ to destroy that yoke Amen. of oppression. If there's a yoke of poverty, it takes the anointing. If there's a yoke that came from your father, it takes the anointing. Yes. Because without the anointing, the yoke cannot be destroyed. Amen. In Psalm 81 and verse 5, it says, I will deliver. He says, I will relieve his shoulder of the burdens. I will relieve his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. Amen. In other words, what God was trying to say, what God was saying is that your shoulder is going to be relieved of your burden. Amen. It means that that which you have been carrying, that which you have been oppressed with, yes. that which have been pressing you down, the anointing is going to drop upon you and lift up that burden. Amen. Hear what the scripture says. It says, my yoke is easy yes. and my burden is light. Now we are talking about God. We are talking about his anointing. Destroy what has limited you destroying what has hindered you from progressing some people are stuck at one point and Amen. they cannot go forward because they have been yoked to a particular place, they have been yoked to a particular family, they have been yoked to a particular person, they have been yoked to a particular religion or a particular belief system yeah. and they cannot go past that system mm -hmm. and folks have prayed for them but if there is not an anointed one, if there is not an anointing. Uh, they can pray for you how long they want. Uh, yep. If the anointing does not come down uh, or drop upon you, uh, the yoke will not be destroyed. Uh, somebody lift your hand uh, and declare, I need the anointing. I need the anointing. Come on, just declare, Hallelujah. I need the anointing. Come on. My God, you can declare it. And I, in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 4, it says, For as in the day of Midian, you have shattered the yoke of the burden, the bar across the shoulders, and the rod of the oppression. My God, and so that's in chapter 9. And so here in chapter 10, it says that the anointing shall destroy the yoke. In other words, as you are involved in the things of God, in other for that yoke of oppression to be broken uh, or to be destroyed uh, you have to grow or increase uh, in the spiritual amen, things amen, amen. Uh, my God that's why uh, prophet rightly said uh, that people get fat with food uh, but the food that you need uh, to destroy the anointing uh, is the word of God amen, uh, what amen, you need amen. to destroy uh, not the anointing but the yoke uh, what you need to destroy the yoke uh, is time in God uh, time in the presence of oh, God uh, learning the nature of God uh, learning the character of God, uh, understanding who he is, uh, understanding what has already been done. Uh, and so that's why uh, the burden that was upon us, uh, Jesus came uh, and destroyed that burden. Uh, somebody, you better lift your hand because uh, whom the Son of God uh, has set free uh, is free indeed. Uh, you can declare that I am free. Uh, my God, free from the burdens, uh, free from the yokes, uh, free, my God, uh, from the prison uh, that once held you bound. Uh, Amen. My God, somebody, you better declare. That's why in chapter 9 and verse 4, it says, For us in the day of Midian, mm. Go ahead. it never said that the anointing breaks the yoke. Mm. It destroys it. That's right. That means it shatters it. Amen. So let me, let, me, let me also explain to you. You see, something that is broken can be repaired. Mm. And that's why sometimes we break things and it's repaired. <laughs> we break stuff and it's rebuilt. Yep. That's why you don't have to break it. You have to destroy it. Because if it is just broken, 
it can be repaired. Have you ever had something in your house that probably, uh, or, or your mom had something in the house that probably you broke, and my God, and you knew how to repair it. You yeah. knew how to put it together again. And so you took your time and put it together so nobody ever knew that it was broken. And so now you have something that was broken and that it was also repaired. But if something is destroyed, now you throw it away because it can no longer be repaired. It can no longer be put together. And that's what God is doing with us. The anointing, it destroys the yoke. That means whatever God have destroyed, it cannot be repaired. Somebody declared that it cannot be repaired. Listen to me. No matter what systems they try to put together, it cannot be repaired. No matter how they try to put it together, it will not be um, it will come not come on. together again. Yeah. Let me just explain. Come on, just look at somebody and tell them they cannot put it together again. You know, there's an old saying, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could what? Could never put him together again. That means, my God, he cannot be repaired again. No matter how you try, he just cannot be repaired again. My God, listen to me. The yoke that's upon you, when the power of God God, when the hand of God, when the anointing of God drops upon you, hey, my God, he increases your insides. Hallelujah. My God, hear what? The chain that was wrapped around your neck, my God, or the bar that was upon your shoulder yes, yes. because of the increase in the size of your neck. Come my on. God, that thing had to be broken. That thing had to be destroyed. That's why the Bible says that God will destroy bars of iron because he is God. Somebody lift your hand and shout, He is God. He Somebody is God. lift your hand Hallelujah. and declare that He is God. He Somebody is God. shout the anointing. The anointing. Somebody shout the anointing. The anointing. Somebody shout the anointing. The anointing. Somebody declare the anointing. The yoke. The hear what the hear what Isaiah the Isaiah. his burden uh, removed from their shoulders. Uh, yes. So the burden uh, is on their shoulders right. but the yoke is around the necks. Right. Uh, my God, listen to me. Uh, the thing that was designed uh, to interfere with your breathing, my Come God. Uh, the thing that was designed to interfere with your mobility, uh, with your advancement, uh, with your development uh, yes. suddenly it's going to be broken. Uh, suddenly it's going to be destroyed. Uh, tell somebody there's a suddenly coming. Uh, there's a sudden destruction uh, that is coming uh, to the devices of the enemy. Uh, yeah. Come on, lift your hand and say sudden uh, destruction. Uh, sudden my God, destruction. suddenly uh, yeah. what they place you in, uh, it shall be destroyed. Uh, suddenly the prison uh, they had you in, uh, it shall be the doors oh, will be open. Uh, suddenly the place uh, that they held you ransom in, uh, suddenly my God, uh, you heard that the price has been paid. Uh, and if Come the price on. is paid, uh, it simply means they cannot improve prison you again. Uh, my on. God the Bible says uh, that he became uh, a ransom for us. Uh, yes, that means is. you don't have to pay uh, the price anymore. Somebody lift your hand uh, and say I'm not paying uh, that price anymore. My God somebody anymore. lift your hand uh, and declare the price uh, has already been paid. Uh, somebody declare been paid. that the yoke has already been destroyed. Uh, so if it has been destroyed uh, why should I still uh, not the destruction of the yoke but the thing is your inability to understand that the yoke has been destroyed so my God is like you've been tied in a place for so long yeah. that if they take the chains off you you will still think that you're in bondage yeah. my God is as if the chain is still around your neck yeah. but the devil is a liar I will understand that I am no longer bound I have an understanding that I am no longer 
restricted. Somebody lift your hand and say, I understand now. My God, I understand now. That means if I understand, I will work on my understanding. The Bible says in all of your getting, get what? Get understanding. So if I understand I'm no longer bound, that means I'm making advancement towards the promise of God. Somebody shout, his promises are sure. Promises are sure. My God, I, 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 I know, yeah. Prophet, I'm, I'm coming to you in a minute. His promises are sure. The Bible teaches us uh, that God will destroy, uh, that he will break uh, the Assyrians in his hand. Yes, My on. God, listen to me. Uh, we are talking about the Assyrians uh, that God is going to break in his hand. Right. Uh, how is he going to do that? Uh, and for who is he going to do that? Uh, for you and I. Why yes. is he going to do it? Uh, because you're precious uh, in his sight. Uh, My God. Not only uh, shall he break them uh, in his hand, uh, but he says he will trample him uh, on my mountain. I will trample him uh, on my mountain. Uh, his yoke that is upon you uh, shall be taken off. Uh, my God, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let Ooh. me tell you when that yoke was taken off. Uh, when Jesus came, uh, my God, and he died. Uh, hey. The scripture says Jesus uh, uh, spoke a word. Uh, he said the spirit of the Lord God uh, is upon me yes. but he have what anointed me my God the anointing was upon him hey. and so now we understand that when he ascended yes. he released Holy Ghost oh, and my Holy God Holy Ghost came upon the disciples it came upon them yes, and they did stuff that they could not have done before somebody declare that the anointing will permit me to do what I yes. could not have done before Amen. my God somebody you better stand to your feet uh, if you have that word uh, if you got that word together my God stand to your feet uh, and declare the anointing will allow me uh, to do supernatural things uh, the anointing will allow me uh, my God to break barriers uh, to break through walls uh, to run through troops uh, to leap over walls uh, that's what the anointing does uh, Paul said uh, Paul put it this way uh, I can do all things uh, through Christ uh, my God, through the anointing, hey. uh, that Christ there is the anointing. Uh, I can do all things through Christ. Uh, that does what? Uh, that strengthens me. Uh, that means he increases me. Uh, my God, to be strengthened uh, means to be increased in size, uh, to be increased in stature. Hey. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. My God, uh, somebody begin to declare, I'm increasing in size. Uh, my God, size. listen to me, Come somebody. Uh, that she, your neck uh, is getting too big for that chain my God you're getting too fat for the place they have you in you're getting too fat for that door you're getting too fat for that chain you're getting too fat my God somebody lift your voice and declare I'm just too big you can no longer hold me my God the power of God the anointing of God is upon me I've increased in stature not because of my beauty but because of his anointing uh, somebody say get ready uh, my God somebody get ready uh, get ready for what God is about to do uh, somebody get ready get ready get ready get ready uh, my God your season is here your time is here your time is now uh, my God somebody open up your mouth uh, and declare I am ready uh, I am ready my God Isaiah, Isaiah, my God, it says, uh, for thou hast broken the yes. yoke of his, of his burden yes. and the staff of his shoulder, the rod uh, of his oppressor. Uh, my God, as in the day of Midian, uh, yes. that's Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 4. Uh, my God, for thou hast broken uh, the yoke of his burden. Uh, somebody lift your hand uh, and declare the yoke uh, of his burden uh, is broken. Uh, my God, the yoke of his burden my God it is broken my God the staff the staff the staff of his shoulders my God the rod of his oppressor so my hear what God. the staff is yes, my God, God is the rod of his uh, of his oppressor yes, so yes, here you yes. are you're being oppressed here Yay. you are my God people are troubling you Come people on. are tormenting you here was Israel in the land of Egypt they were under the oppression Yay. of Egypt 
They were under the oppression of Pharaoh. And here was Moses. My God, the anointing was upon him. The anointing was with him. My God. Hallelujah. And so come here was on, Moses. He said, let my people go. Somebody, the devil. My God, somebody, Pharaoh, is about to let you go. Pharaoh is about to lose you and let you go. Somebody shout hallelujah. My God, he's about to lose you. He's about to let you go. Somebody say, I'm too big for him to hold me back. I'm too big for you to restrict me. I'm just too big. My God, listen to me. I'm not just only big, but I'm quick. I'm agile. My God, you better understand. I'm not moving slow. My God, I'm going places because I am quick and powerful. My God, listen to me, somebody. You better touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready for what God is about to do. Come and give about five persons a high five and tell them, get ready for it. Tell them, prepare yourself for it. Tell them the yoke is about to be destroyed. My God, give them a high five and say, now is your time. Now is your season. Now is your hour. Your hour has come. The yoke has been destroyed. The hour has come. The anointing is in the house. My God, the anointing that destroys yokes. The anointing that lifts up burdens. My God, the anointing is dropping now. My God, somebody receive it. My God, a guy wrote a book. He said, catch the anointing. Somebody, you better catch it. My God, the yoke of your oppressors, the rod of your oppressors, it shall be broken. It shall be destroyed. Somebody declare today that the rod of my oppressors it shall be destroyed my God you know what it means to be oppressed it means that sometimes you cannot have a good night rest sometimes you're on the job and you cannot work properly sometimes you're at home and your mind is not there sometimes you walk in the street and you're absent minded my God you're oppressed my God you're a burden you walk like you're bent over you walk like you've been under oppression you you walk like you've had some burdens uh, upon you uh, and folks are watching you uh, and they're saying what's wrong with her what's wrong with him uh, but what they don't know uh, my God is that you're under oppression uh, what they don't know uh, is that you've been burdened uh, but here comes the anointing uh, somebody say here comes the anointing uh, somebody say here comes the anointing uh, my God, somebody say, here comes the anointed one. Here comes the anointed one. Somebody say, here comes the anointed one. Here comes the anointed one. My God, let me tell you what happens when he come. One day, one fateful day, he was teaching in a synagogue. And while he was teaching, there was a woman who was bent over for 18 years. She was in the temple. She was in the synagogue. But folks could not hear her. My God, because the anointing was not present. But when the anointed one yeah. came uh, in that same place uh, where she was not healed, uh, where she was not delivered, uh, when the anointed one came uh, in that house, uh, in that temple, my God, uh, he identified her and said, hey, come. Woo. Hallelujah. Shari under the booth. Somebody hey. say, come. Woo. Come. Somebody Nobody say, come. Excited. Come. Eat. Somebody say, come. Woo. Now, I really want you to say come. Hallelujah. I want you to understand when you're saying come, what it really means. Because here was, here was Simon Peter on the boat. Yes. Trouble all around. Come on now. Jesus came walking. Yep. Because the anointed one does supernatural things. Yes, indeed. He came walking, prophetess. Yes, he did. Since he came walking. Mm -hmm. Look at somebody and say, he came walking. He came walking. My God, and the same thing that troubled them. Yes. He yes. came walking yes. on the same thing that troubled them. Yes. That disturbed mm. their minds. Yes. One My said, God. it's a ghost. Mm. Another one said, ha, ah, my God is over with us. I'm just paraphrasing some things. But here was Peter. My God, faith told him, bid me to come. come if it's you, master, tell me to come. Yeah. And Jesus said, come. My God, when you said come, you can leave everything behind. Yes. My God, it matters Woo. not how difficult it appears. Oh, if he said come, you better get you off better and begin to go. You better get up and begin to run. 
because he said come yes. somebody look at your neighbor and say neighbor he said come neighbor, my God said, come. you can tell your neighbor something is prepared for you yes. you can tell your neighbor there's a promise in that come oh, my God you. and so when you tell yes. when you tell the master to come you tell him God I'm ready yes. you tell him God I'm available yes. you tell him God I'm open yes. you tell him God do what you want to do yes. you are telling God I need Ooh. I need that anointing that I need that grace I need, I need that favor I need it now you are telling him come somebody shall come come Ooh, come on people, come on, come on, not because I'm not here in the apostle. I want to feel that fire in here. Because you know tonight, you are not leaving the same way that you came through that door. My God, tonight, you are receiving a revelation tonight that the yoke, wherever it is, it shall be destroyed. You are believing God tonight because there is an anointing, not to break it, but to destroy it. And I declare that wholeness shall come to you. How many of you are tired and fed up of being at the same place having to go through the same cycles again and again but the anointed one is here today he has heard your cry and he has come down today to lift it my God to break to destroy to shatter whatever it is that has been holding you bound somebody begin to look and see a brighter future somebody begin to look and and see the thing uh, that was troubling you before you came into this place. Uh, my God, begin to visualize uh, that it is there no more. You have to be able to know how uh, to put in your two cents. I don't know about you, but I'm excited up in here. The yoke, it will, it will be destroyed. Uh, because I am looking at a people of faith tonight. A people that are determined a people that desperate, a people that understand today that the God who have spoken, his words are yea and amen. And even as you are standing here, my God, begin to see that thing that was troubling you beginning to be shattered from off your face. I don't care what it is. See the oppression. See the anxiety. Whatever it is tonight, somebody begin to see. You see when rain fall on the dashing leaf, huh? what does it do? You see it form a little wrong ball. And it just, <laughs> Oops, excuse me tonight. Mm. But begin to see this thing rolling off you tonight. Ah, shatarabande. Rakoto yandarabasaya. You are growing fat in the Holy Ghost. Not fat with food tonight. Hey, but fat in the Holy Ghost. The food that you are growing on tonight, it is spiritual food. And tonight, somebody begin to extend. Mm, extend. All around you, expand and tell yourself tonight is my night. No more yoke. Listen to me today. For the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of the oppressor, thou hast broken as in the day of Midian. I want to declare to somebody today mm, that the rod, the yoke, the staff, the Lord God Almighty, the anointed one, has destroyed it today. Somebody begin to feel the freedom and the liberty that comes. My God, listen to me today. You never see, I, I mean, I'm using that illustration not to offend anybody. Because I've had dogs before. But when they are caged up and you give them that freedom, they dash around like a mad dog. They jump on you. They fly out. Why? Because they know at that time, that is the time for the freedom I was looking for. Ah, tonight somebody get into the groove of the freedom and the liberty and tell yourself no more. My God, whatever it is. You see, when the Lord, when Moses stretched forth his rod and the sea opened, my God, when they cry over and it closed again. Uh, every Egyptian with all of their chariot uh, and all of their 
whip uh, and all of what they had uh, to begin to beat them up again. Everything uh, remain at the bottom of that sea. Somebody tell yourself today uh, that that which they oppress you with uh, no more. My God, you don't have uh, to walk with your head down. Uh, you don't have to wonder how this house uh, is going to be built. Uh, you no longer have to wonder when you are coming out uh, of that abusive situation. Uh, you no longer have to wonder why your papers uh, are being delayed uh, because tonight uh, the yoke uh, has been broken uh, somebody scream uh, in that place today uh, because the God of heaven uh, have said uh, enough is enough uh, my God today uh, deliverance has come uh, breakthrough has come uh, and what you don't know uh, in the realm of the spirit uh, people are scattering uh, things are falling down uh, because uh, the Lord has risen up uh, in his holy Rafa and his name is vengeance. His name is the blood and he's coming tonight. I don't care who it is. I don't care how long you have been in that situation but I declare no more the yoke of that sickness. It's broken tonight. Somebody understand. I don't care what was that ancient altar but tonight right now immediately Simon Simultaneously, there is a war going on in the heavens concerning you. Eesh. I don't know about you, but I feel this thing tonight. I don't know what you came here believing God for. <laughs> but tell yourself, ah, this is it, Lord. This is it, this is it, this is it. Uh, my God, listen, uh, it's like a payday. And because you know you walk, uh, you have to get paid. Uh, so you're waiting uh, for them to just call you up. Uh, my God, if you're a pensioner, you look at your phone at around that time. Uh, and you look at, if you have uh, online banking, uh, you look to see if they have already sent it in there. And you are looking with with expectation because you know they have to send it in there. Ah, tonight somebody ah, tell yourself no more yokes, no more bondage, not tonight. It is broken. The rod of the oppressor. I don't care how he was oppressed. The rod has been broken. One has showed up on the scene. My God, at the name of God, shall bow and every tongue shall confess. My God, listen, there is a bowing happening now. There is a breaking taking place. Ah, somebody tonight, tell yourself, I am not walking out the same way that I came. Mm. In for that door with tonight, it's destroyed shattered never again to be put back together for who the sun set free is free indeed hey apostle yeah. hallelujah come on just lift your Woo. hand mm. just declare mm, mm. the yoke mm, 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 has already been broken hallelujah Somebody just Woo. declare that the yoke has already been destroyed. The yoke has already been destroyed. Come on, just begin Eesh. to declare the yoke has already been destroyed. The yoke has already been destroyed. Come on, say destroyed. that you, like on. you know it. Say hey. like you know it. It has been destroyed. Come on, just say it, it like you know destroyed. it. Come the yoke has yeah. already been destroyed. Hallelujah. It has already been destroyed. Yes. My God, stop God. fussing. It has already been destroyed. The yoke has already been yeah. destroyed. You don't have to fuss about it. You don't have to fight about it. It has already been destroyed. Hallelujah. This is the anointed one. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hear what Glory. he says. The anointing destroys the yoke. My God, he's, he is called. Uh, the anointed one yes. somebody uh, you better lift your hand and declare the presence of the anointed one uh, is with me the presence yes. uh, of on. the anointed one is in yes. my home uh, the yes. presence of the anointed one uh, is in my affairs uh, the presence of the anointed one uh, my God is upon me uh, my God somebody lift your hand uh, and just begin to make some declarations uh, right where you are come on just begin to declare that you are increasing in size uh, you're increasing in stature come 
Come on, just Jesus. just begin to declare it right where you are. Open up your mouth. I know you're waiting for me, but yes, just yes, open yes, up your yes, mouth. It's yes, not about me. Yes. It's about the presence of God. Hallelujah. It's about the hand of God. Hallelujah. Even if I'm here and the presence is not here, I am irrelevant. My God, listen, just open up your mouth and begin to declare that I am increasing in stature. I am increasing. I'm increasing. There's an increase. My God, I'm developing in size. I'm growing. I'm growing. I'm growing. I'm growing. I'm growing. Uh, my God, somebody begin to declare Hallelujah. that I'm an anointed one. I have been anointed. I have yes, been smeared. Uh, my God, somebody begin to open up your mouth uh, and begin to declare that they will no longer find you the same place. Uh, they'll no longer find you at the same location because uh, you've been anointed. Uh, my God, you've been anointed to handle uh, the activities of your life. Uh, you've been anointed to handle uh, the troubles that they're putting you through. Uh, you've been anointed to handle uh, the burdens they place upon you. Uh, my God, you've been anointed. Uh, You've been anointed to handle uh, all, all of the demonic activities. Uh, my God, that you're faced with. Uh, you've been able to handle it because uh, you've been anointed for it. Uh, you've been anointed, uh, my God, for the mockery. Uh, my God, that's why uh, you're not down yet. Uh, that's why you keep on standing. Uh, that's why you keep on moving. Uh, that's why you keep on pressing because uh, you've been anointed. Uh, you are anointed. Uh, somebody just begin to declare that you, I am anointed. I am anointed. Uh, I can handle the activities. Uh, I can handle what yeah, is sent my yeah, way because yeah, I've been anointed yeah, uh, I've been appointed yeah, uh, somebody you better, better begin yeah, to declare yeah, uh, that grace yeah, is upon yeah, me uh, yeah, that the power yeah, of the Holy One yeah, uh, the power yeah, of the yeah, excellent yeah, one yeah, is upon yeah, me uh, yeah, my God somebody yeah, declare yeah, that the Spirit yeah, of the Lord God uh, yeah, is surely yeah, upon me because uh, yeah, he yeah, have yeah, anointed yeah, me uh, yeah, my God somebody uh, open up your mouth uh, I don't know what weapons are formed against you uh, forged against you uh, but it shall not work because uh, you You've been anointed. The chains are going to be broken. The chains are going to be destroyed. My God, open up your mouth right where you are. We are getting ready to pray. But just open up your mouth and begin to make some declaration. My God, don't just wait for me. You can lay your hand upon your head and declare that I'm no longer going to think small. I'm no longer, my God, going to have the same old small mindset. My God, I'm not going to have that poverty mindset. It is broken. My God, the anointing that's upon me will cause me to see beyond what I saw before. I'm going to begin to see as the Lord will have me see. My God, I'm seeing beyond the mountain. My faith will take me beyond my family, beyond my generation. My faith will take me beyond my island. My God, I declare to you today that you're going places. My God, you're rising beyond the expectation, beyond the plan. Uh, every trap is set for you uh, the anointing uh, my God will not permit you uh, to fall into the traps uh, to fall my God uh, you're not going to fall in the traps uh, and even if you're in the trap uh, because of the anointing uh, you're coming out uh, my God you'll be lifted up uh, you'll be elevated uh, what the place upon you uh, shall no longer be able uh, to contain you uh, to hold you back uh, my God somebody uh, open up your mouth uh, I declare the grace of God. I decree the power of God right where you are, right where you're standing. I declare visitation right there in your home. I declare my God, the same anointing, the same grace, the same power, the same authority because he's the same yesterday. He's the same today and he's the same forevermore. My God, whatever, whatever they're trying, whatever they have tried, whatever they're doing, whatever the plans are, it shall not work. The yoke shall be destroyed. My God, the burden, it shall be lifted up. Hear what the word of the, word of the Lord says. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. So therefore, I'm not carrying, my God, demonic yokes. I'm not carrying yokes of oppression, yokes of depression. But my God, I'm free. I'm liberated. My God, I'm delivered. My God, I'm set free. My God, there is freedom uh, freedom in my praise uh, freedom in my worship uh, freedom in my movement uh, there is freedom uh, my god i'm no longer uh, hell bound uh, my god i'm set free uh, i'm liberated uh, my god that yoke of witchcraft uh, it is broken uh, that yoke of witchcraft uh, it's been destroyed uh, in the name of jesus uh, devil you are a liar every demonic assignment uh, my god i decree uh, it shall not work uh, i'm coming out 
out uh, out of oppression, uh, out of depression, uh, out of discouragement. Uh, I'm coming out uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, I decree uh, that I will see uh, as the Lord will have me see. Uh, my God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, somebody open up your mouth. Uh, my God, don't wait. Uh, don't wait for nobody uh, to come and lay hands on you. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and declare your freedom. Uh, my God, the woman, uh, she was bent over her. But he was the master. He was the Lord. He said, woman, get up. He said, woman, thou art free. My God, today, I declare your freedom. I declare to you today that the kingdom of God has come to you. I declare to you today that your freedom is now. Your liberty is now. Your breakthrough is now. I decree to you today that you're going to have dominion. You'll walk in dominion. You'll walk in power. That which held you bound uh, shall no longer hold you anymore uh, in the name of Jesus uh, come and open up your mouth uh, and begin to declare no more no more no more uh, no more uh, I have dominion uh, my God in the day uh, that you have dominion uh, in the day uh, that you understand uh, who you are in the day uh, that you understand uh, the power of God uh, upon your life uh, in the day uh, that you understand uh, that you've been anointed uh, in the day uh, that you understand uh, that grace is with you uh, that mercy is with you uh, in the day that you understand uh, that you've been healed uh, that you've been delivered uh, that you've been set free uh, you'll no longer behave uh, the way you behaved before uh, my God you'll walk uh, in the freedom given uh, you will walk uh, in that liberty uh, my God somebody uh, open up your mouth uh, and begin to declare uh, my God I'm free uh, who the son of God uh, I'm set free. It's free indeed. I will not be entangled again with the yokes of bondage. That spirit of bondage. That yoke of bondage. You are broken in the name of Jesus. Come and open up your mouth. My God, my God. I see chains being broken. My God, I see walls just tumbling down. My God, somebody lift your hand. Open up your mouth. I declare to you today that this is your day. Uh, that this is your hour uh, that this is your season uh, that this is your moment uh, open up your mouth uh, I don't know why you came uh, but if you came for the power if you came for healing uh, if you came for deliverance uh, if you came uh, my God for the spirit of God uh, to drop upon you uh, open up your mouth uh, if you came my God uh, for liberty uh, open up your mouth uh, my God this is not uh, about your best friend uh, but this is about uh, the power of God, uh, I feel the presence uh, of Almighty God uh, right here in this house. Uh, my God, uh, there shall be an invasion. Uh, my God, angelic invasions. Uh, my God, uh, open up your mouth. Uh, this is your time. Uh, this is your season. Uh, this is your moment. Uh, somebody open up your mouth uh, and begin to cry out to the Lord. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and begin to declare, uh, Lord, you are God. Uh, Lord, you are King. Uh, my God, uh, my God. God, my God, uh, whatever you've been going through, uh, whatever you're going through, uh, this is your time, uh, this is your hour, you're coming out now, uh, my God, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, touch your people, touch your people now, touch them, touch them, Lord, touch them. Touch your people, mm. Lord. Rabba rabba she korobo si ande. My God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. My God. Mm. Touch, touch, hey, touch. Touch, Lord. She katoroboski. Touch, Lord. Touch, Lord. Rabba 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 she My God, wherever they are. In Amando. Let every yoke, in their every yoke, every yoke, every yoke. You touch them. Be destroyed now. Destroy yoke. Every yoke, every yoke, Lord. Destroy yoke. The yoke over the nation. Rabba rabba The yoke in the community. What they've been yoked to. Family yoke. Generational yoke. My God. Religious yokes. Kani ma shandarabasaya. 
Lord, destroy those yokes. My God, those yokes of setback, those yokes of delay. My God, open up your mouth. Somebody open up your mouth. This is your time. You can open up. Don't just wait for me, but God will do it. Don't just wait for me. He will touch you. My God, extend your faith. Exercise your faith. Let your faith move you. Let your faith, my God, move the hand of God. Let your faith tonight. Now she I don't know what you came for. I don't know where you are, but my God, He's gonna touch you right there. He's gonna fill you up right there. In the name of Jesus, let the will of God be done. Let the power of God be revealed right in this house. In the name of Jesus, uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, let your fire drop, uh, let your fire fall. Now she can't have a ricket on the mando, Ugandeske, Ricata, you saw Rubo, Nishi, Nishaka, Ricatama, Rekete, Isanda, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, Father, touch your people, uh, touch your people now, uh, fill them up now. Uh, now she in the bay, uh, let the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, let it fill them up, uh, let the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, let it be revealed. Uh, now she can't uh, let your glory uh, be revealed in this house. Ah, now my she can't, uh, um, gonna someday, uh, um, now my she can't, uh, Rabba, Nasa, Nasike, Iko, Iketa, Ikata, Nasu, uh, um, gonna do, they get here. Ah, the end of the man, the most My God, come on, just open up your mouth. Uh, he's doing it right where you are. He's touching it right where you are. My God, my God. Hey, Robo. Power of the Holy Ghost, 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 falling now, falling now, breaking, 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 destroying. Ekoshe terebe sianda, rakata ta yokoto, rebe 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 rebe, raba 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 bashi koto, rekasho torobone. Fire of the Holy Ghost, falling now, falling now, ena masata, Lord falling. Let the weight of your glory, let your anointing. Fall upon your people now. Ekata yeke, ikorobo se teriande, mariandurboske, raba 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 raba, rokotoske. Come on, people, push. He's already doing it. He's already here. The anointed one is already in this place. His power is already touching you. Ekashete, raba raba yekorobo. Forget who is by you. Forget who is around you. But tell yourself, I am. Not leaving uh, the same way that I came. Uh, somebody pushed today. Uh, today is your day uh, of breakthrough. Uh, today is your day of deliverance. Uh, today is your day uh, of divine appointment. Uh, somebody push. Uh, the yokes uh, have been broken. Uh, the rod of the oppressor has been destroyed. Uh, my God, Lord, fire. Holy goes fire let it fall now let it fall upon your people let the fire of the holy ghost begin to fall those in house oh god and those that are viewing let them receive the fire of the holy ghost let every yoke be destroyed right now let the rod of the oppressor over their lives let it be destroyed god the oppressor that has been oppressing them today is the day there are breakthrough today is the day where they are coming out rakato enemy sunday somebody push Somebody push, somebody push. I want to hear you. You are in the right place, in the right atmosphere, in the right environment. My God, the angels are there. They are working with you. Somebody push, command that which is on the inside to get out. Refuse to be in bondage. Refuse to be yoked. 
Ke rabarabaye no monde. E kacha tarabarabaraba. Rabarabaraba. Rabarabaraba. Ah, somebody push tonight. Uh, today is my day of freedom. Uh, today is my day of liberty. E ke te rakoshorobo. Rabaraba. And the Lord promises you uh, that that which afflicts you today, uh, that which held you bound, uh, you shall see it no more. Somebody push tonight. Eta shatorobo siande, e karabato sheterebe. The anointed one is here, my God. Uh, the anointed one uh, is in that place. Uh, is there anything uh, too hard for him? Uh, somebody push tonight. Push where you have never pushed before. My God, the chains are beginning to break. The barriers are coming down. Somebody push to the air. Your freedom is at your fingertips. There is a rebuff taking place there today. There is a buffing that is happening in the realm of the spirit the Lord and his angels are sabotaging the plans of the enemy there are visitations at home, there are visitations on the job, my God there are visitations in your business, on your property somebody push tonight the yokes have been broken I see freedom I see liberty uh, coming to you tonight. Uh, somebody push. Uh, my God, forget those uh, who are already receiving uh, their deliverance. Uh, but push for yours tonight. Uh, hey, somebody push tonight. Uh, hey, the dam is breaking tonight. Uh, the resistance of the enemy uh, is weakening tonight. Uh, their gates uh, have been thrown down. Uh, somebody begin to cry out. Uh, somebody begin to cry out. Somebody begin to cry out because this is your day. Hey, Rabandoske. You are dealing with oppression. Hey, Torobos. Come, come. 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 Ooh, shekata yata rabadaba. You have been pressed on every side. Come. Mm. Hey. Oh, Trouble Torobo. on every side. Come. Tonight, the spirit of depression, oppression. Mm. Oppression, depression. Come on, wherever you are tonight. Uh, hey, those that are in house. Uh, if you are dealing with this spirit, uh, my God, uh, brace for a deliverance tonight. Uh, hey, there is an anointing uh, to deal with that spirit, uh, that oppression, uh, that depression uh, that have you bound. Uh, somebody get ready. Uh, it's not about anybody else tonight. Uh, it's about you uh, standing in the place of prayer. Father, tonight by your power, touch your people tonight. Uh, break, destroy uh, the yoke of oppression, uh, the yoke of depression. Uh, let it be destroyed today, God, uh, from off the necks, uh, from off the backs of your people. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Karamande. Oh, we break your hole. We break your hole now. Every spirit, every demon of oppression. You have been oppressing the people of God for far too long. You lead them even with suicidal tendencies. Those who want to run away, those who want to give up. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we command you to lose them now. Take your leave. Lose your hole. Lose them now by fire. Lose them now. Lose their minds. Lose their will. Lose them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, tonight. Every spirit of depression. Every spirit of oppression. Father, every yoke. Let it be destroyed tonight. From of the minds of your people, oh God. From of the souls of your people. Mm. From of the backs of your people. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father, I release fire to the root cause of that condition. Hey, you are the God that answers by fire. Rekatose terabande. 
Oh God, answer tonight. Hey, Shiata. You know where they are tonight, God. You know where they are. And Father, tonight, you have called them out because there is deliverance and breakthrough that awaits them tonight. Father, we serve notice tonight to every depressive spirit, every spirit of oppression that have been oppressing your people, oh God. My God, they are up to then down tomorrow. Lord, they are feeling drained. They are feeling lifeless. Their joy is being taken from them. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, Marobo, Rakoto Father, release now the power of the blood to saturate them tonight. Release your fire tonight, God. Hey, Lord, we address every condition tonight that brought about the oppression, that brought about the depression. Lord, we cancel every assignment tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we reverse it now. Lord, some have come because of jobs. Your people need jobs, Lord. Some have come, God, because they don't see a way out of situation. But tonight, you are the way maker tonight. You are the Jehovah Jireh. You are the provider. Step on in tonight, Lord, by the power of the anointing. And make a way tonight, God, where there seemeth to be no way. Father, touch tonight from the crown of the heads. To the soles of the feet. We evict every spirit of oppression. Every spirit of depression. This is not of God. So we command you in the mighty name of Jesus. To loose now the people of God. For it is the Lord God tonight. That is breaking the yoke from off the neck of his people. He is breaking now the staff of the oppressor. Yes, you have been oppressing them, but tonight I declare and I decree that your staff is broken. Your rod is broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus tonight. Hey, come on people, push tonight. Push. Desire to walk in the liberty whereby Christ has set you free. Father, you are doing it by your power. You are doing it by your might tonight. Every spirit of depression, we serve you notice tonight. Hey, some of them have received some news that have caused the depression to come. But tonight, Father, we reverse every plan of the enemy. We turn around every bad news today. We reverse its effects upon your people tonight, God. And we declare and we decree, Lord, that good news is coming to them, Lord. Lord, divine alignment and adjustment is coming to them. Hey, Lord, every mountain that has come to block them, every Goliath that has stood in their way, Father, to cause that depression to come, to cause them to feel oppressed tonight, let them be slain in the name of Jesus. My God, tonight uh, there is war in the heavenlies tonight. People of God push tonight. People of God push tonight. Hey, let the devil know that this is your body tonight. Hey, and no foreigners shall be in that body. Hey, koto, Take back your mind. Take back your will. Take back your emotions tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Command the strongholds of the enemy to be broken off your mind. To be broken off your soul. Somebody fight back tonight. Etashiko. Rakoto Yanda. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord, fall in this place tonight. Let the devil and his cahoots know that you are God. You you are Lord Kerebatoshke. You have never lost the battle. Oh God, turn the tide of the battle tonight against your people. Let the flags of victory.
victory uh, be lifted up tonight. Uh, Father, every area that the enemy is mounting an attack tonight, uh, Lord, uh, we sabotage uh, the plan tonight. Uh, we expose uh, every hidden agenda tonight, God, uh, against your people. Uh, we declare there shall be uh, no hiding place. Uh, fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Lord, let the elements uh, burn uh, with fire tonight. Uh, drop upon the homes uh, of your people. Uh, drop upon the business. Uh, drop upon the family. Uh, my God, drop upon the property. Uh, everything that belongs to them. Uh, fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, drop upon it tonight. Uh, katayanda. Father, there is a sound uh, in the realm of the spirit. Uh, there are trumpets uh, that have been sounding right now. Korobo Ratashata. Victory is assured tonight. People of God, open your mouth and declare that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I don't care what the devil said. I don't care what you have heard. I don't care what your best friend said. But tonight, the advocate is here. The anointing to destroy every yoke, to destroy depression, to destroy oppression, to destroy migraine headaches, to destroy cancer, to destroy pain. My God, to destroy everything that is against you. Somebody open your mouth today. Father, we are taking back our health. We are taking back our mind. We are taking back our will. We are taking back our emotions. We are taking back our families. We are taking back marriages. Oh God, we are taking back our jobs today. We are taking back our contracts. We are taking our papers. My God, from customs. We are taking our papers from courtrooms. Our Father tonight, we are taking back. Take back, take back, take back tonight. Everything that belongs to you. Oh, tonight somebody take it back. Take it back tonight. Rakoto Soto And when you are taken back, uh, you don't take it back in your mind. Uh, you open your mouth uh, that the forces that are around you, uh, even those that are at your home, uh, they will hear your voice uh, resonating in that place. Uh, and when you get back home, uh, they have already evicted. Uh, they have already left the place. Uh, there comes a time uh, when you pray silently, uh, but in the middle of war, when you are claiming uh, your territory, uh, when you are taking back your sanity, uh, when you are taking back your health, uh, you don't close your mouth. Uh, you got to let the devil know who is boss. Uh, somebody open your mouth. Uh, you got to let sickness know who is in control. Uh, refuse to be sick. Uh, refuse to be double-minded. Uh, refuse to carry the burden of the enemy. Somebody pray tonight. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus tonight, Father, drop now. Drop now upon your people today. I see yokes being broken and destroyed. I see them falling and they are, they are shattered into pieces. They cannot be put back together. My God, altars have been shattered into pieces. Somebody understand tonight, there is war in the heavenlies concerning you. I don't care what the witch said. I don't care what the warlock said. I don't care what the boss said. Whenever it is negative, open your mouth. Reverse it tonight. Open your mouth and understand that you are who God says that you are. And you will have what he says that you will have. My God, listen to me tonight. He saw only had a sword, but he put that sword to use. What is in your hand? What what is in your house? What is in your mouth? My God, you may not have a high finance, financial increase, but you've got the word of the Lord. Somebody open your mouth and declare the word of God. You may not be able to go tap your high places, but you
you have the word of the Lord. You have the presence of God. You have the anointing of the Most High God. Somebody open your mouth today. The anointing tonight has come to shatter. My God, the doors that have been shut before you tonight. The anointing of God uh, is bursting those doors open. Uh, and as those doors uh, are beginning to open, uh, I see you walking into new jobs. Uh, I see you walking into newness. Uh, my God, I see you walking uh, into new things. Uh, I see your peace coming back. Uh, your health coming back. Uh, I see restoration uh, is coming back. Uh, somebody push tonight. Etayande, uh, Rakoto, Shatayanda. That anointing, uh, it did not come. Uh, to be passive, but it came to be aggressive. So I need to hear an aggressive people today, wherever you are at home. If you can't where you are, open your mouth and become aggressive tonight for the Lord God. It is He who fights your battle. Open your mouth, tell Him what you want, declare a thing, and He said it shall be established. Somebody open your mouth. And declare your healing, uh, declare your breakthrough, uh, declare your peace, uh, declare your joy. Uh, somebody open your mouth, uh, call that job to find you. Uh, open your mouth today, uh, declare that your application uh, shall not be lost in the mail. Uh, declare that your application, uh, it shall come to pass, uh, it shall be seen. Uh, the call. Ikatarabando. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, Sharabande. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, gates, 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 gates. Gates have been opened tonight. And as these gates are open before you, you shall walk into your prosperity. You shall walk into your healing. As these gates have been opened before you, the jobs that you have been denied, you shall no longer be denied. My God, as these gates are opening before you, divine favor is coming to you right now. No more shall you be restricted. No more shall your answer be no. But now you are moving forward. No longer shall you not be able to see 
what is before you. As those gates are opening, you have been catapulted into new territories. New dimension of favor is coming. And some of you that need to travel, as those gates are opening, my God, traveling, experiences traveling, opportunities are coming back because the gates have been open. Some of you tonight that want to get married, as those gates are open, my God, you will will get that ring. You will have that husband. As the gates are open, your children that have been going off will be returning. As the gates are open, divine alignment and adjustment is coming to you. You are walking in a different path as those gates are open before you. I see your homes being built. My God, I see your businesses beginning to prosper. Somebody push because the gates are opening before you. Hey, Rabande, Boyande. Somebody press through tonight. Press through, press through, press through, press through tonight. I am pressing through. So you better press tonight, Keshata Yanda, Ekorobosi Yanda, because those gates, uh, they were blocking you. You could not, you did not have access. Uh, but tonight, uh, I declare and I decree to you uh, that access has been given. Uh, access has been granted. Uh, access uh, is no longer denied. Uh, it is the mercies of God. Uh, it is the working of God. Uh, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Esharobosi. Uh, Somebody understand today, your children shall excel at school. My God, listen, the gates that have been opened, no more shall they take what belongs to you and give it to another. But what belongs to you, it shall find you. Your promotion shall find you. Those doors and gates that are open have just ushered you into a different dimension. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to announce to somebody here tonight. You are living in a house and that house is yellow, white, and gray. Wherever you are tonight, I need you to understand that God is setting your family free. Yes, you have been going through, but tonight... As we speak about yokes that have been broken, God, by his spirit, has stepped in your house, yellow, white, and gray. Map that house. They don't have three, four houses. Wherever you are today, lift your hand and begin to rejoice. Because the Lord is stepping in today. There is a deliverance that is coming to your house uh, and it is coming now. And as that deliverance come to you, you will begin to see things uh, being made manifest uh, in a way uh, that you have never seen before. Somebody claim that. I don't know if you're online today, you can say I, uh, but there is a deliverance that is coming to your house. A change of atmosphere. Mm. Yes, some things are going to happen in that house that's going to shock you. Because you've been going through, but God has stepped in today and he has bro destroyed, not broken, but destroyed that yoke of bondage. He has destroyed that yoke of oppression in your house and a freedom. Hey, somebody said, I. Hallelujah. My God, I get two eyes. <laughs> Hey. My God. Amen. Come on tonight. Yes, I see you. I see you, Heather. I see you, Cynthia. I see you, Swanee. I see you. 
I see you, Sylvia. Listen to me. God is doing it. Some of you have been going through it. The time span for some of you are different. But there's one person there, seven and a half years. You have been going through this thing because there is a financial uh, issue that has come up. And because of that, it has planned things in a, in a way that is negative. But tonight, tonight, God, by his spirit, is coming in. The yoke that has kept the bondage over your life and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it. It has been destroyed. And you're coming out of it. Yes, you're coming out of it, Heather. You're coming out of it, Cynthia. You're coming out of it, Swanee. You're coming out of it, Sylvia. Yes, you're coming out of it tonight. There is a visitation that's coming to you tonight. My God, God is doing something new. And he's doing something. My God, there is somebody there in that room. There is a yellow, whether it's a yellow patch, but in this particular house, you normally get anxiety attacks. So I'm directing this at you because of what you are going through. Yes, Patricia, I see you say I. Hmm. Listen to me today. God is doing something with you and your house on a whole other level. No more shall you go through these attacks anymore because some of you, the finances has really come and crippled some things concerning you. Mm. Hmm. Charmaine, you said my curtains are yellow and gray and my house is white. <laughs> but there is somebody in here, your room, there is a yellow Strict in that room. You are going through some anxiety attack. And it's bad. Because of what you're going through. But tonight, a holy visitation is coming right where you are. A shift in your situation is coming. I hear somebody receive it tonight. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus tonight, Lord, the power of the anointing, the anointed one is here. Father, tonight, each and every person tonight, God, that represent the situation in the houses, my God. Father, tonight, I declare and I decree that even as the faith is elevated, the breakthrough is coming. Atta. Yes, you said your room is yellow. Hey, listen to me. God never makes a mistake. The Spirit of the Lord never makes a mistake. Whatever he reveals, my God, it is because it is present and it is here. So, because... <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, God is so amazing. God is so amazing. You know, you are experiencing a financial issue right there. Mm. And that is not just any financial issue. Your back is actually against the wall. But God is turning that situation around. Mm. Yes, I see you all are receiving it. Yes. Receive it tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, whatever you reveal, Lord, you are well able to open doors. And Father, in the realm of the spirit, the doors are already open. I thank you, Lord, because you are releasing it now in the earth realm. Father, I thank you for sending your word and your angels before your people today. Father, to cause the situations to change. I thank you, Lord, that even as they have believed you, my God, 
uh, people are identifying on the line, Apostle. Even as your people, Lord, come into a place of identity, Lord, let it be for them as it is written. Father, let them come into that place that they may testify. Father, let today be the turning point in their lives. Oh God, as the gate is open tonight, Lord, their lives also shall be open, transformed. Fatness shall come to them, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your hand of supernatural blessing touch each and every one on that line there today, Lord. Even as they face is a different mighty God, so are the issues that they are facing. But I thank you tonight, oh God, because by the virtue of that word tonight and the anointing that has been released tonight, Lord, your people have been set free. Your people in-house and online have been liberated tonight, Lord. Father, testimony shall come out of it tonight, mighty God. Lord, even as some of them go to sleep today, Father, the angels will begin to work. Oh God, today, Lord, I hear the cries and the sound of victory. I hear the shout of laughter and triumph. And mighty God, tonight, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you have done and all that you will continue to do in and through the lives of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to just pray for this one person. Well, there's one, two, there's three of you. You've been trying to build for the past 10 years. One of you have been trying to build for 10 years. And another has roughly been about 15 years since you've been trying to build. And it's like the builders come, they go, they come, they go, they come, they go, they come, they go. And this has been the story of your life. There's one of you in-house, and there's those of you on, on this live platform. I want to just pray for you. Just, Lord just told me just to pray for you. Whether 15 years, whether 10 years. But I want to pray for you. If that is you, come quickly. I want to pray, I want to pray for you. God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. How many how many years? 15 15 going on to 20 years. We've been trying to build. And nothing is happening. <sighs> Come just take some oil, just put some oil on her for me quickly. Quickly. Run, run if you're running. Even if you cannot run, run. He who has begun the work, he will finish it. God has never started something that he cannot finish. Neither I see you, I, I see you put I. If you put I, just let me know how many years you've been trying to build. Just want to know. Because God was specific. So just let us know how many years you've been trying to build. There's 15 years, there's 10 years. You know, you've been trying to build and nothing is happening. Uh, people come, they go, they come, they go, they come, they go, they come, they go. And it's just not happening. For you, it's five years. Uh, you start and you cannot finish. Listen to me. There's a finisher's anointing upon this life. Hallelujah. The yoke shall be destroyed. Amen. What God has begun with you, he will finish it. Just lift your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of your spirit, you have begun a good work, Father. You're well able, you're well capable of finishing the work that you've started. Father, we cancel every plan, every device of the enemy. Father, today, God, we declare that the material that have been purchased, what has already been done, Father, I decree that you will undo everything that the enemy have done. It shall be canceled. Thank you for that, Neva. Father, it shall be canceled. Father, even as I use your daughter as a point of contact, Father, I decree that even those on this live that have been experiencing such conditions, 
I decree that it shall be broken, it shall be destroyed, it shall be uprooted. Father, by the power of your spirit, I yes, command Lord. every work and every device of the enemy to be destroyed right yes, now. Father, Lord, we destroy the yokes of delay. Father, we destroy it now. We command it to be broken right now. Mighty God, we declare every yoke, every yoke, O oh God, shall be destroyed. Lord, that is keeping your people, Father, from building. Father, right now, right now, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, release your fire now upon the property, O oh God, upon the materials that they have, O oh God, upon their finances. Father, there is an anointing to finish on this line tonight, and we are declaring God. Order, that they shall finish it. They shall finish it. They shall finish it in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare, God, that they shall be unstoppable, O oh God. Father, I declare tonight, O oh God, that your perfect will for them. Lord, whatever you reveal, my God, you are well able, O oh God, to deal with. And tonight, Father, I thank you because all those that are represented, their homes shall be built. The finances shall come because every yoke, my God, is being destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Every burden, Lord, everything that has been in their way tonight, we release your fire upon it. We release your fire upon words, words of negativity that has been spoken. We release your fire upon that which has been planted. Father, we release your fire now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare tonight, God, your people shall have testimonies, O oh God. Father, we break them loose from anything that has followed them. My God, in the bloodline, tonight you have spoken, Father. And because you have spoken, Lord, we declare it shall be done in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tonight, if you, if you came with an offering then, you know, feel free to come and bring it at this time. Blessed be the name of Jesus. My God, my God, what a night. We give God thanks and we give him praise tonight for all that he has done and for all that he will continue to do in and through our lives. Saints, when you leave this place, continue to walk in that anointing. Continue to walk, my God, knowing, believing, hallelujah, that it is done. I don't care what you see, but you know tonight that the Lord has spoken by his spirit, uh, rejoice. Uh, if your words were negative, change it tonight because God has done it. His ways are not your ways uh, and his thoughts are not your thoughts. For he says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways above your ways uh, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. Uh, so tonight, just believe God uh, that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ever ask or think. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I just want to say thank you. To Can one of the ushers come please and stand behind? Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Father, I thank you, Lord, even for the free will offering of your people. Yes, I thank you and I pray, God, that a blessing, O oh God, double shall be upon them. Even as they have given, let it be multiplied back unto them. And for those who did not have to give, Father, I pray, Lord, that your divine favor shall find them. Come on, just lift your and hand. Next time when they come, Lord, they will have to give. The Spirit of the Lord will touch you right where you are. Because what you've been struggling with, the fights you've had, the battles you've had, Thank you, Jesus. to disrupt your life, to disrupt your home, the Lord says that he has seen you. He has heard you. Mm. And the Lord says your day of salvation has come. Amen. 
Your day of salvation has come. The Lord says even the plans that you have concerning your family, the plans that you have, even concerning ministry, because you feel that there's so much that can be done in my house. And Lord says, I've seen your heart. And Lord says, because I've seen your heart, the Lord says, I will visit you. Yes. And I'm going to make every crooked path straight, says the Lord. Come on, just lift your hand right where you are. Father, by the power of your spirit, yes, Lord. Lord, touch your daughter right here and touch her right now. Yes. Let it be a visitation of God beyond her expectation. Yes, I decree right now. And the Lord says, even, even your ministry, the Lord says you're not just ordinary. The Lord says even the things that you've been going through. There's an evangelistic call upon her life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, today. Speak, Father. Hallelujah. Speak, mighty God. Mm. Mm, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Father, we put a demand tonight upon every gift and every ability that is resident in your people tonight. Oh, Rabadaba. Touch now, Father. Touch by your power. Touch now. by your spirit tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hmm? Almost. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you, one and all, for coming tonight. Walk in the blessing. Walk in the breakthrough. Walk in your prosperity. And may God continue to bless and may God continue to keep you. My God, I look forward to great testimonies. And so tonight, I just want to say today is Friday, Sunday morning. We are here. Father's Day. My God, fathers, fathers, ha, you come on and be blessed. We are having service here at 9 and um, 9.30 in the south, New Dock Road. So come to be empowered. Come to be strengthened. Come to get some keys to go back home and unlock some things concerning you and your family. So this has been the voice of Greater Works International Ministries, Prophetess Hippolyte and Apostle Mason saying thank you, we love you, and may God continue to bless you and let his light shine upon you. Let his countenance be over you always and may you walk always in his perfect peace. Have a blessed night. Thank you, Jesus.